wonderful evening for football here in the east of Spain. Showcase today for two teams, of course. Different priorities when it comes to the next few matches. Maybe Casillas are the doctors. At least he didn't drop any balls during the game, Mourinho would say. If you haven't seen Sergio Ramos here, but indeed there has been a lot of speculation that it's not the original. So they won 10 cups for the price of one. Gonzalo Higuain looking to bring the ball forward. Good tracking back by Mateo Madrid over the past two seasons. Has missed the majority of this campaign, though. Him in harm's way that he did pick up that yellow card booking in the last Champions League game. It's the Van Granero with a fine ball over the top, looking for Karim Benzema. The Frenchman just unable to get it under control. Uses his strength well, and Miguel with the clearance, and it's the first corner of the game, and it goes to the visitors. Injuries on that. I don't think he's just right yet. Higuain. They may get a run out here today, but obviously Jose Mourinho sticking with Ike Casillas. Santi has to make do once again with a place on the bench. Karim Benzema down the left with support in the centre. Higuain calling for it. It's come all the way back to Esteban Granero. Sergio Canales then with the follow-up. Ozil and Pepe. Here's the situation here as the ball breaks all the way through. I mean, I think the most surprised man... Ricardo Carvalho. Mateo does well. Well won by Hassana Diara. Higuain. Strong challenge in the end. Well, a couple of strong challenges. Benega coming across there and just slapping that one behind for the corner kick. Taking no prisoners. Higuain knew that he was in the neighbourhood for sure. Quite wobble after being knocked out of the Champions League. Higuain, look at Raul Albiol making his way up to the centre of the pitch. He's been up. To so Karim Benzema. Sergio Canales. Trying to find Gonzalo Higuain. Nacho Fernandez. Keeping Cesar Sanchez on the bench. Some English newspapers have linked him to a move to Manchester United. But it looks likely not to happen now with David De Gea. Wait, oh, really thrown in at the deep end. And it's Excel. Starting to get their finances in order as we see the ball play through to Karim Benzema. A wicked shot from the Frenchman. The woodwork saves Valencia. Oh, that was a rasper. He banged it right off the crossbar. Watch. And it looked like he got himself a little bit deep here. He's just inside of the six-yard box. Look at the shot. The keeper never has an earthly. All he can do is put a hand... He wouldn't have even attempted that. But the confidence that he's built up with his nine goals in this second half of the season. Duro. From Diara to find Gonzalo Higuain. Trying to find Karim Benzema. He must score. And he does. Real Madrid break the deadlock here at Mestalla with 22 minutes on the clock as Karim Benzema grabs his 11th La Liga goal of the season to make it Valencia nil. Real Madrid won. Now it is a goal again from Unbelievable stuff. I mean, when you can take on Benzema, Iguain and Kaká and you get things going, look at how well it flows. Great vision all the way across. The keeper almost got it. He almost got it out of there, but he just couldn't reach to it. I mean, that is just a beautiful ball. Benzema takes his time, and he bulges the old onion bike with a rocket. Commentator's curse there after seeing the praises of Vicente Guaita. You do feel that the Valencia goalkeeper should have done better there. with the clearance. It's up though by Stankovicius. And you could just see, is it Benzema? Who caught the Lithuanian there? Clumsy strikers challenge, really, in the round number nine. Yeah, just coming in on the back. Ball's long gone. Well, the referees give a yellow card. It's certainly not going to plan so far for Unai Emery. Pulled their 
First win in four matches against Madrid. Sanadiara. It's out his fellow countryman Benzema down the left to Kaka. Madrid to Valencia three seasons ago. I'm not surprised that he's uh, playing as close to the goal, you know. I, I thought he'd be out for it or trying to gain possession. Higuain's little back here almost finds Benzema. Higuain. We've seen them given for a lot less this season, let me tell you. Valencia nil, Real Madrid one here. At Mestalla in La Liga, as Gonzalo Higuain looks to break free of Jeremy Mateo, and he does exactly that. An opportunistic strike there from the Argentine. It's another gift, really, from the Valencia defence. But Jose Mourinho won't mind as he now sees his side take a 2-0 lead. Well, it looked like Higuain had a heavy touch on the ball. It looked like the ball was going to get away from him, and he allowed Mateo to get between him and the goalkeeper. I thought Mateo was going to play the ball back to the keeper, but instead of that, Higuain just sticks the boot in, and he sticks it in the back of the net. This is a weird play. Look, at here's the heavy touch, I thought. I didn't think he could get up to it there. Mateo looks like he's in the perfect position. What does Mateo do? He tries to clear it, and it's a half-hearted clearance. Watch. Here's a touch on the ball. Iguain said, thank you very much, and he deposits it in the back of the net. Absolutely brilliant individual play by Iguain. Sticking with the ball after it looked like he had really lost control of it, and he had allowed Mateo to move forward. Out at the far post, unable to find him as Karim Benzema now looks their leader. Counter attack here and finds Sergio Canales. What a great ball that is from the Frenchman. It's that. Roberto Salvador. Is it well to Matteo looking to make up for his earlier error? Brought down though by Gonzalo Higuain. Well, Matteo Higuain has no excuse. <laughs> Long ball over the top once again, causing problems for the Valencia defence. Ricardo Costa brought down by Higuain, though. Completely outplayed Valencia. You know, you just can't satisfy some fans. Some fans don't feel that Higuain's goal was a good one. I think it was brilliant opportunism. He saw the ball drop down and he put it in the back of the net. Well, a brilliant pass there, sets up Karim Benzema. The Joseph just trying to figure out. I know he probably has it figured out, but what he's going to do with that back four against Barcelona with no Carvalho in there? Does Pepe go back in from midfield? Benzema is causing so many problems here for the Valencia defense today. Sets it up to Gonzalo Higuain, plays it unselfishly into the center, and Ricardo Kaká makes it 3 0 here. You could see this happening. You could see the Valencia defense being caught flat for it. Again, great individual play from Higuain. He could have went for it himself. He could have given it a lash, but instead he decided to pass it across, and uh, Kaká gets himself a goal. He's still going in as many matches after getting a brace at San Mames against Athletic Bilbao. I'll tell you what, they won't come much easier than this. The, the culprit in all of this is the big blonde man, Matteo. He keeps going across into the middle and he keeps leaving the left hand uh, fullback spot wide open. It's wide open again. Look at Higuain is wide open in there. Matteo's in the middle of the field. They've just so narrow every time the Real Madrid go to come with the ball. I'm not sure why he keeps going across into the middle. Every time Real Madrid go forward, you feel they're going to score here at the moment. Karim Benzema to Kaká. But see, this time Matteo at least stood his ground and it at least slowed them up a little bit. Canales. It's his ball over the top. Once again, Benzema in space. Looks to put it on his right. Benzema goes for power. Straight, though, at Guaita. In himself, there was never a question of a penalty kick there. Pablo Hernandez and Raul Alvio more than happy just to move it up the field to Karim Benzema. What a game he's having. A lovely touch there that finds Esteban Granero. And now it's Ricardo Kaká finds himself in space. Kaká looking to repay the favour. He does indeed. Gonzalo Higuain gets his second of the game to make it Valencia nil, Real Madrid 4. It's a rout here at Mestalla. Unbelievable how much room they keep having on the right-hand side for Real Madrid. 
and great, great play, great teamwork. Mourinho is shaking his fist, he knows. I mean, this is just, you could see Kaka gets inside and he looks up to see if there's anybody in the vicinity. Watch him take the look, look at, and then he realizes where it is and he just tucks it home. I mean, this is fantastic play by Real Madrid. I mean, this would bring you back to the 50s. Not a lot of Real Madrid fans out there can say they're watching Real Madrid in the 50s, but this, like, this is the way the Stefano and Puskas and company played when they were in their prime. This is just a rout by Real Madrid. I'll tell you what, we didn't see it in the replay, but in the build-up to that goal, what a touch from Benzema to find Esteban Granero. Valencia should be fit to give this a good run, but hasn't happened that way. Benzema was just staying down after the challenge from Stankovicius. I think you hit the it the Real Madrid are just winning everything so easy in midfield. It's Gonzalo Higuain. Valencia then looking to get something from this first half. And they're in trouble as they commit and play us forward for that corner. And look at this, just a stream of blue shirts. Higuain, first thing he's done wrong all game. Oh, he, he went 